Okay, so the other thing I was going to talk about with institutional memories are your actual memories. Everything that you've got in you is an institutional memory because you are an institution. You've been here on planet Earth for God knows how long, but everything you've experienced in your institution of yourself is an institutional memory. So, if you're looking to change your patterns, um, well, your patterns quite often come about because of your institutional memories. And the ones that are most problematic are the ones we would call unconscious memories. Unconscious memories are ones that buried away somewhere, buried away somewhere. And what do you do with them? Well, you look for signs that you might have an unconscious memory. Now, for me, it's sneezing. Because there was an episode of MASH where Hawkeye, the very last episode of MASH, the old TV show from the 70s and 80s, he was sneezing and sneezing, and Sidney Friedman said, well, this is a trigger. Every time we go over the same thing, that you're, you're traumatized and you start sneezing. Or he's sneezing during the day, and it, it, if I get if I start sneezing during the day, I always say to myself, "There's something unconscious in me that's not that w something needs to come up. It's it's a memory complex that it's not my consciousness, but I know it's there because I start sneezing." Some people say you're just sneezing because there's dust in the air. No, I know when I'm sneezing because of dust in the air. It's not that. It's for me, it's sneezing. For maybe for you, it's something else. But I always think to myself, there's something going on in me that I'm not aware of at my conscious level, but I know there's something there. And so then I start looking. And if you were Vasily Fisk, my cosmic character friend, um, he would get his magnifying glass up and he would start looking around, trying to figure it out, what it is. Quite often, these unconscious memory complexes have been known to cause disease. So you could go and look up Edgar Cayce, who was a famous psychic. He would go into uh, kind of a trance, and people would ask him questions. And um, when, within his trance personality, he had access to all kinds of credible informations. So that's another little bit of institutional memory for you. If you're playing poker, they're called tells, T-E-L-L. -L. So if somebody has, you know, they get a great hand and they're just, that would be a tell. So if you're a poker player, you know, you got a stone face and you don't, you know, or, you know, maybe somebody starts going like that and they'd say, that's a tell. Because I know last time he was doing that, he was bluffing. So you have to be very good when you're playing poker, especially with the same people who know you, make sure you don't have tells which are you know you might not even know or if you're really smart and you know what your tell is you might fake it you know like I'm bluffing but I'm not bluffing you know so if you're really smart you can play the tell game against your your opponent <laughs>